hopefully. No, I just need to check Twitch. All right, apparently some people can actually see. Um, <clears throat> I was trying to have Matt join, um, but Discord's being a pain in the neck. So welcome, Adam. Hey, Ben, welcome. Me too. I am also half asleep. And that's and I have less of an excuse. Sorry I'm running late. Alright. Cool, I can see that my stream is on. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully it gets it over with quickly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I hope so, too. Um, so, I'm just going to wait a little bit um, for uh, some more folks to join. Um, <clears throat> but I am actually going to go and get rid of this starting soon uh, thing. Because I don't need that. Just got back from dinner and you're a couple beers in. Woo! <laughs> I wish I was a couple beers in, um, <clears throat> but alas, I'm not. Um, frustrating. <laughs> hey, Matt, welcome. Uh, Matt, I apologize. I could not, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's your end or my end, but you weren't able to hear me. I'm able to hear you just fine. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> hey Dylan, welcome. I feel like I should have like background music or something going on. Um Yeah, Matt, I, I do um, do want to congratulate designers. Um, my plan here, I know we kind of chatted about it very briefly, um, <clears throat> is uh, that's disgusting, Eric. Um, the plan here is I, I want to recap uh, courses uh, that we had, um, and then we'll go into... Um, you know, the matchups, the semifinals, and the final matchup. Um, but Matt says, really solid field all around. Uh, and a lot of folks to look out for in the future. Um, I agree. I agree. I think, um, you know, this year, uh, all of the courses were worth playing. Um, <clears throat> you know, there were some courses that had some glaring errors, but they're... Even with those, um, still really a lot of potential in them. We were not, you know, all the courses were playable. They all had pretty good ideas. Um, so, uh, really, really excited to for this group um, this year. Not really excited about getting one up by a rookie. Yeah, nobody's a rookie, uh, that's for sure, in that contest. Uh, World Cup's got brutal field. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I got myself into. All right. I know some folks woke up, uh, set alarms to wake up for this, so I, I 
do want to keep this as, as brief as possible. So um, just to kind of cover the, the flow of this stream, uh, we're going to go through uh, each of the courses that were uh, participating in the contest, talk a little bit about each one very briefly, uh, then we'll get into the matchups. Uh, we'll reveal the winner, and then uh, I'll jump on it and play the winning the winner's course, the winning course, uh, a little bit. But that'll be sort of anticlimactic, and we can kind of talk about uh, other things that, that we saw, some trends and, and things to look out for, and um, get into more, a little bit um, more casual details and stuff like that. So, all right. Um, so without further ado, uh, I do want to start. Um, but before I do that, um, I want to bring up something uh, that occurred this week uh, in the TGC Tours community. Um, most of you who are on the stream probably already know um, there was a post uh, earlier this week by uh, a player by the, that goes by the form name of Nevada Ball and uh, Jimmy Sheridan. Um, Real tough situation uh, with with him. Uh, his wife was was ill, was very seriously ill, um, about a year and a half ago. Uh, resulted in both of them losing losing their jobs. Um, medical bills piled up, and they put out a, a GoFundMe. And this community met that GoFundMe in a matter of like a day and a half. Um, so it just goes to show um, the community that we have here, uh, and how generous that, that people are, uh, not only with, with money, but also with their time, and that they really care about the folks that, that uh, play here. I just wanted to highlight that story um, before we moved on. So real, real, real awesome community work right there. All right, so I um, just want to talk a little bit about some of the the earlier the courses that didn't quite make it. Um, kind of not um, not really any order. Uh, I, what I basically did is I took on took the the nine courses that were eliminated early, uh, put them in alphabetical order, and then I added the the four quarter finalists after that. Um, just wanted to highlight these courses again because they really had some good uh, ideas and, and lots of things to look at. Um, things that, that they did bring to the table that, you know, even though they didn't advance, uh, they're, they're definitely good courses. So uh, this one, first one was Arbor Pines uh, by Cody Lantman. Uh, solid course. Um, interesting to play. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, straightforward, sort of peaceful, peaceful-looking course. Uh, Beaker Mountain by by Ryan Deacon Star. Um, so uh, Matt says Arbor Pines was in his uh, personal top five. So uh, yeah, Arbor Pines was one of the courses where um, you know it, it was tough to leave that one out. Um, just it, you know, just that's kind of the way it went. It was among a, a group of courses that were uh, um, really fighting for to make it in the group and just, you know, just didn't quite make it. Uh, Beaker Mountain, uh, really like the, the stream that flows through the course, um, you know, with, with the rocks and the planting, so I wanted to capture that in, the, in this screenshot. Really, you know, it was uh, one of the early courses uh, for this designer, but... Uh, did a really, really good job uh, with most of it. Um, really enjoyed this one. Um, Chautauqua Hills uh, by Justin Kenyon. That's uh, 15, Eichel Tower, uh, 9. Um, I lightened up the picture. The lighting was a little bit dark uh, on this course. Um, uh, you can see on the on the left the bridge. Uh, I wish we would have brought that bridge into, you know, more into play. Um, so we would have seen it more than just on the opening hole kind of in the distance. Um, bunkerless course, um, so that it was an interesting decision. Um, just 
you know, but it was fun to play. It was, you know, there was some decent strategy on the course despite it not having any bunkers. I uh, thought it was good. Eric says he can say good things about all the rookie courses, to be honest, except one. And honestly, I will actually say some good things about that course when we get to it. Uh, next course was uh, Los Condenados uh, by Sam Pond. He goes by Tag Riotus. Um, this is another one of those courses that uh, deserved a lot of consideration for, for making the quarterfinals. Um, really, really cool looks off of many of the tees. Um, really good use of the land, um, use of the natural terrain, create that sandy, that whiter sandy look. Really, really excellent. Um, of course, one of the one of my favorites that that of the ones that didn't uh, make it out of that out of that group. Um, Mount Mescalero uh, by Mike Snow or by Mike. Um, Snow is the name I just put in for anyone who didn't provide their uh, their last name. Uh, goes by the the moniker Jive Turkey. Um, this course was interesting. Um, had some really good views, uh, like this one here, this is the opening tee shot. Um, some technical issues that we discussed with the way the bunkers uh, were placed along the fairways, that, that was a big issue. Um, and then just some of the landing areas were pitched quite a lot. It was very difficult, and then the layup spots were uh, not quite as forgiving enough, but... Um, overall, it's still a pretty interesting course. I think the sculpting was better than some of the surfacing uh, in this one, so uh, it's kind of where it, it lost some points. But this is a really, really good course for for someone who's just jumping into the designer. Uh, Mulligan Grove uh, by Jeff Freeman. That's uh, the Sleepy Freebird uh, with the numbers. Uh, really, really scenic, especially you know in the Areas that are between the tees and the fairways, uh, well planted. Um, just another one of those courses that was right on the bubble. Was uh, you know really really close uh, to grabbing a, a quarterfinal spot. Uh, I do want to highlight the course it was a really really good course to play. Um, Schwartz Fotzer Golf Plots uh, by Dave. This is Dave and Oz, uh, 74. Uh, on the forum, I think he's changed the the moniker to Davidius seventy four. So if you see that, that's who it is. Um, really, this was one of the highlights of of the course with the green and the bunker complex uh, and the waterfall in the back. Uh, it was a really really cool look. Um, just a, you know, a couple of technical issues were holding it back, but overall, it was a, a really good course. Um, sea Cliffs Golf Club by Mike Ricks, that's Sand Saver. Um, also, you know, re interesting design with the, the upper tier, the, or the upper level and the lower level, and you have the one part three that you play down uh, to the green to go from the top to the bottom. Uh, it was an interesting idea. Um, some of the sculpting was, was, you know, let this course down um, in that, but uh, overall, it was you know interesting course. Uh, this view here down in the lower half, um, with the, the the colored grasses and and the other holes in the distance, really, really like this view as well. A cool Highlands course worth playing. Um, and Sweet Tooth Hills, um, <clears throat> interesting concept here. Again, another another autumn course with that brings in a lot of the reds and and yellows and. Uh, contrast the green. I think that's a good look. Um, interesting idea here with the deep bunkers with the steps. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest issue with this course, uh, a couple of strange things, um, connecting the, the fairways to the tee boxes with fairway. Um, didn't really like that. Don't really like the idea of having the bricks in front of the tee. You know, if you hit a grounder like this, it bounce up and hit you in the face. That would be what I do in real life. They came across this tee, um, but you know, still overall, I, again, uh, problem with scale, especially early in the course. Uh, with some some of the greens are quite big, uh, but but still, from a, for an early design, uh, I thought it was pretty solid. It's much better than 
uh, where I was at that time. Um, now I get to the courses that did that did uh, make the quarterfinals. Uh, Shadow Kept by Jay Hollingsworth. That's the Drunk Dan. Um, you know, really, really solid course. Just, you know, again, a lot of uh, enjoyment to play and interesting holes and, and scenic looks and naturalistic. So, uh, really, really enjoy this one. Other, this one is the Harvest. You can tell by the uh, the willow trees and the excess in, in yellow on the course. Um, the Club at Hill Valley. Um, Really solid. Um, I think this one was held back a little bit by two things. Uh, the first thing is the sharp cornered shapes. Um, I think that was a, a detriment. And then the fact that in, in the routing, uh, the holes were very far apart. Um, bring those holes closer so that you could see them from each hole. It'll really help uh, with the course flow and, and that stuff. Um, Really interesting, but from a playability standpoint, uh, really was fantastic. Um, a lot of risk reward in terms of how far you want to hit down the fairway, or if you want to carry something. It was really really solid course here, and ju I really liked uh, the sculpting and, and the the overseeded look here with the autumn. Uh, really really good idea. Good lighting, good textures. Uh, Tiro Cedrus, um, really, really cool, um, greens with, um, the, the retaining wall and two level retaining wall around this particular green hitting downhill, really, really solid look, uh, well sculpted, um, throughout most of the course, uh, really cool, um, waterfall in this part of the course, really, really scenic, did a, a fantastic job, um, uh, on these part, uh, on this part of the course, really, really enjoyed the course. Uh, and Cedar Pines Village, another course, uh, really, really clean in terms of surfacing, um, neat surfaces, uh, appropriate size greens, um, accommodating slopes, very, very playable. I think this one just kind of, a, there was one spot where the sculpting here, like, there's a couple of areas, I should say, where the sculpting wasn't quite up to. Um, par of some of the other courses, but uh, really, really enjoyed uh, this course as well. Really, really cool waterfall with the bridge work um, and the st flowing stream here is just really, really nice. And that brings us to our first uh, semifinal matchup uh, Achafalaya Isle and Marlott Fells. Um, Achafalaya Isle. Really, really cool concept with the the bayou type of of style with the um, bushes in the shallow water. A great scene over here on the right hand side with the river that flows out into the ocean. Just really, really good framing. Um, really, really nice, solid all the way around. Um, really, really good course flow. Every hole, you know that you're on Achafalaya. Um Keeps that flow without you know without a break throughout the entire round. Really, really cool. Uh, and Mullet Fells, um, really, really cool idea. Really good look with the tall pines and able to see through um, the tree line to adjacent holes. And, uh, you know, really, really good uh, sculpting, surface work, uh, really good planting in off playable areas. Uh, Good use of textures. Um, you can really clearly see the fairway from the rough, and it looks natural. It looks really, really good, and it's a, a fantastic job. Um, there's some comments here. The one. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna read some comments. I've been, been talking a lot here. Um, Dion will be a force very soon. Same with Oscar. I, I agree. Um, I think both both of those guys put out solid courses. A um, couple of minor things to work on uh, for both of them, and they're they're just going to get better. Um, and also Midway 07, yes, also uh, agree. Uh, like I said, I really liked um, his course. Uh, just if you would bring everything closer together, I think it would just be that much better. 
um, and kind of round off those corners and not have them so sharp. I think that would have been great. Um, I honestly don't know what hole this is on Marlott Fells. Um, I got to one that I liked and just took a picture. <laughs> Did the Kraken win? I don't know if the Kraken won this one, Terry. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to, you know, try to finagle your way into calling you a rookie. Um, all right. So without further ado, the winner of this matchup is Marlott Fells. Um, you know, one compared to Archifalea, just um, superior off the course sculpting, uh, visual interest throughout the course, uh, fantastic surface work, uh, and and just really exceptional textures um, on this one. All right, second one, uh, second semifinal, uh, Caldera Furiosa and Royal Bahir. Uh, we've got a step course and a desert course. Um, two completely different uh, courses um, here. Uh, Caldera Furiosa, by far the, the biggest risk, the biggest fantasy course, huge elevation changes. Crazy holes, including the par six ninth hole. It's like 800 yards long. Um, surface work. I'm gonna say, with the surface work, I I was very unsure about the brown light rough. Um, I generally I wouldn't think that that um, I would like it, um, but given the fantasy nature of the course, it actually to me it, it worked um, pretty well. Um, Really, really cool course. Great sculpting. Um, great rock placement in, in the um, non-playable areas. Just really, really cool uh, course all the way around. Uh, Royal Bahir. Uh, it looks like Aruba, man. This is uh, just fantastic. It's just desert island. It, there's not a lot of height to it, um, but the off-playable areas and everything, the bunker the shapes and sculpting is just it's just really perfect. Um, fantastic from a technical standpoint. Um, needs two drawbacks for each of the course and Caldera. Uh, greens were they were a bit much. Um, there were some, especially if you played the Sunday pins, the pin four. Um, absolutely crazy. Um, greens with tiny landing areas and big slopes. Uh, Royal will be here. I think when we played it more than once, you got to play two, three times, uh, even four times to get through. Uh, you realize that a lot of the holes play kind of the same way. They're just slightly different lengths. like to see a little bit more variation um, on the course, uh, just to, just a little bit different if you can give a little wrinkle here and there um, with, with the look, um, add something interesting, a hole here, a hole there, um, and also kind of differentiate the strategy just a little bit but um both courses were just really really good really really um just worthy of winning to be honest and and unfortunately only one can go through uh of course making it to the finals is royal by here um just overall between the two courses um i think the the over the top greens of caldera furiosa were at least in my opinion were the straw that, that broke the camel's back here. Um, otherwise, I had the courses pretty much even. Um, so that was the one thing I would just say is with Caldera, just watch the greens. I know it's a fantasy course, but we still have to play it. So, um, But really, really great um, course here. Um, Royal Bahir, just really, really just beautiful. Just very, very scenic, relaxing, fun to play. Um, really, really enjoyed this course. And that brings our final matchup to Royal Bahir versus Marlott Fells. A clean, wide open desert island course versus the hilly, wooded, boreal upper um, upper northeast course with tall pines or you know, so one course has a lot of height, one course is relatively flat. Um, again, both courses just really, really interesting. Um, a lot of fun to play. 
playable where you can play them multiple times. Um, you know, just really, really eye-opening. Really enjoyed, uh, you know, the time on the courses. Uh, but uh, let's just go look at the comments before we reveal this. Um, yeah, congrats to, congrats to everybody. Um, <laughs> you know, I think I think a lot of people are not surprised by uh, the way the results went. Um, but I think, you know, respect to life on a board with uh, Caldera. I, I, Caldera was, to me, the most fun to play just because there were so many crazy shots and you didn't know, can I hit it here or there? But um, I think, like I said, the, the greens were a little bit over the top and that, to me, um, just didn't just didn't work out as, as well. Um, so here we are. We're over here, Mullet Fells. Um, and the winner is Marlet Fells. Um, just overall, just astounding. Um, just the, the bunker shapes, the off-playable areas, visually, just... The entire look, the entire course kept it up the whole way. Variety of holes, short holes, long holes, holes to lay up on, holes where you want to hit as far as you can. Just fantastic uh, start to finish. Uh, my only critique of it is I thought it plays on the difficult side, um, which is not really a knock on the course. Um, there's a lot of areas where if you hit it too far, the ball rolls down a tier from the green, it rolls off the back a lot, or rolls down to a, a bottom tier in the back of the green. So, um, other than that, I mean, I play with pro clubs on PC, so, um, I don't get quite as much spin and I have longer approaches, so that's part of the reason why. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really, really good. Great use of the rocky terrain, the natural terrain here. You can see in this picture, there's some, there's some green, there's some brown, there's some yellow, there's some gray, all in the non-playable areas. Then there we add the textures of the rocks, just really well done. The plants on top of the rocks, the, the idea of, um, lifting, using only the trees that have bare trunks, just from top to bottom, it's just, it's extremely solid just really really well done one of the better courses in the game uh from any designer and have someone who's you know folks really aren't familiar with um leading up to this point um just really really well done um can't say enough now i do want to acknowledge the the work that um the judges put in uh we had a cast of 13 judges, um, some, a couple of judges jumped in halfway through, um, because we had some other judges who weren't able to, to complete judging, they had some personal stuff, um, so at a, at a moment's notice, we had a couple of folks jump in, jump right in, and they were playing courses three, four, five rounds on a course, just to differentiate one or two, um, so I want to thank, thanks the judges, um, for all their work, the, the speed at which we got through this, um, really, really well done. I want to thank Matt for, you know, helping out, um, really coordinating judges, getting judges to sign up, uh, to, to volunteer f to judge this, um, in a pinch, hey, you know, we want to have some judges that have fresh eyes to come in. So just, you know, just when we, when we set the matchups on, as we went through, what I tried to do is, arrange the judges so that the matchup was a fresh matchup for a judge. Like, they hadn't seen much of one course, or it had been a while since they played a course, um, and they hadn't seen the other course at all throughout the event. Um, to try to keep it a, as fair and as new as possible to all the judges. Um, so in order to do that, I needed um, you know a, a number of folks to jump in. 
And I also think, you know, splitting up the first round instead of having everybody do all 17 courses like we did last time, um, that really sped up the process, allowed me to, to go release the, um, you know, the results, you know, one at a time, you know, over four days just so that we can get through the judging and then it wasn't, you know, a week in between uh, results we're getting. It's, you know, we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we did Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, and now here it is another week later and we're wrapping up with uh, the semifinals and the finals. So um, I appreciate everybody's help with this. I appreciate all the work that the judges put in. And I want to say congratulations to all the designers. Um, the designers, you know, you never know what to expect with, with folks that are just jumping in um, to the designer and you get a whole, uh, you know, array of quality of courses. But we really didn't get uh, any courses that we, we, this course is terrible, we don't want, we don't want to play it. Um, I know there was one instance where, you know, there was a brouhaha over, you know, somebody made a comment about the size of a green, but, you know, we're talking about, you know, the designer losing the scale of things. It's an easy thing to do for a new designer, and the feedback that they get in order to, to correct that is, is invaluable. So, uh, other than those, I mean, really, really high-quality courses. Um, like I said, it many times enjoyed playing every course. Um Never felt like a round was a struggle to get through. Um, just fantastic job. And with that said, I also want to point out that a, a large part of that is the community. The community is on board with helping out new designers, giving them some advice, playing their betas, looking at their works in progress, um, giving advice, giving some feedback, giving suggestions on how to do something. They've even taken them aside and say, hey, this is how you technically do it. Um, the design community here um, is super supportive. There's hardly anybody that would be like, you know, not willing to help. Um, just, again, I can't can't say enough about, about this community. And it shows um, in the work that rookies are putting out because they're comfortable with being able to ask for help, and they'll get the help from the senior community members. And also, I wanted to congratulate the designers themselves for also pitching in on each other's designs. Like, there's tons of comments back and forth in each other's threads just saying, hey, I looked at this, Just you may want to try this, you may want to try that, or this didn't work, or maybe you could you know, change this part of it. Um, just... It, it's just, it's a warm community. Everyone's out here to have fun. Um, so I'm really excited, really happy to see that. Because um, that's, you know, when I started, there wasn't quite as much of that. There was basically Andre's videos, and that was about it. You know, and then you'd have, you know, as more and more designers started to hop in, and it was starting to be more streams, uh, that community started to, to get built. Um, really become uh, full steam ahead. Maybe two, two or three years ago, it was a little bit after I I joined. So um, again, uh, really, really a testament to to the entire design community. Um, all right, I I thought that you know I was gonna jump on uh, and play around, but I I think we're just gonna go ahead. Close the stream, say congratulations again to Ben for, for winning with Marlott Fells. Um, say thank you to the judges one more time. I appreciate the work of all the designs that participated. Um, and just say thank you. Uh, again, appreciate everybody's support on this. Eric, um, support on, on Twitter, on the website, um, on the forums. Just really, really good job. And I don't want to forget to mention it. Um, so thank you. Uh, so that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close the stream. Um, once again, great job to everybody, and congrats to Ben. Our 2019 uh, TGC Tours uh, Rookie Design Challenge Champion. Congratulations, bud. Take care.